No, thank you. I'll make some more toast if you like. No, thank you. Do you want me to wash up, Mum? I will if you want me to. All right, what's going on? Nothing. Ever since you got up this morning, you can't do enough for me. What is going on? That is not normal. I'm sorry, Mum. For anything in particular? I'm sorry Tom and me ruined your weekend with Daniel. Tom and I, go on. Well, we didn't want you to ignore us like you usually do. Ignore you? Yes, well, every time you're with Daniel, you always seem to be... Morning. So Sally and Claire Fielding's breakfast nook. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Is it still self-service? Claire has got a problem. She feels that we ignore her. Claire who? <laughs> <laughs> hey, healthy orange juice. I think I'll come again. I thought you were supposed to be a respectable member of the community. And that's why I'm going to do something respectable. I'm going to help Harley find his parents for him. Did he lose them? No, he's adopted, and I promised I'd help him find his real mum and dad for him. That's not going to be easy, Bob. I know, but the poor kid's got a chip on his shoulder as big as Ayers Rock. I've got to do something. Well, why not ring Jigsaw or one of those other organisations? Jigsaw? <laughs> it's a place that helps adopted people find their real parents. Well, I was actually hoping for a quicker avenue. He was born at Newbridge Hospital. And you want me to look at the records? Could you? It's not very ethical, Bob. I know, I'm sorry. It's important to you, is it? Well, he's pretty toey about it. And the sooner I get results, the better off he'll be. I can't promise results, but if he was born at Newbridge, then there is a good chance that I'll be able to find out who his real parents were. Thanks, Doctor. What are friends for, Reverend? Who wants to go to a boring hospital? Yuck! Shut up, Claire. You're only supposed to go to hospitals when you're sick. Well, if you don't stop whinging, you'll be sick enough to stay in hospital. Mum? Yes? What's adopted mean? Means you're brought up by a mummy and daddy who aren't really your mummy and daddy. Why? Oh, maybe your real parents are dead or they can't look after you. Was I adopted? No, daddy and I were there at the start. Why doesn't Harley live with this new mummy and daddy? I don't know, maybe they had a fight. Who buys him his birthday presents? I suppose you could, couldn't you? When it's Christmas, mm -hmm. where does he have dinner? I don't know, darling. Where are we going to have Christmas dinner this year? Well, how would you like to spend it with the Windsors? Can Harley have it too? I don't know, depending on how I go with these records, Harley may have a chance of having Christmas with his mummy. <laughs> you sure that's loud enough? You can turn it up if you want. I thought you were going to clean this mess up while I was in church. What mess? Do it now, will you? Call it practice when you go and get a job tomorrow. We had a deal, remember? I wouldn't make you come to church if you did the housework. I'm going to do it. I just don't recall specifying a time. Right, next week, you come to church with me. What's God ever done for me? A bit more than you've ever done for him, I'd say. Hi, Harley! G'day, Squirts. How'd you go? Bit of a brick wall, I'm afraid. They put all the records in storage three years ago. There's nothing earlier than 1986. I am sorry, Harley. I really don't think there's any way I can find out anything about your parents. Sorry, mate. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, Bob. It's all right. Thanks for trying anyway. I really appreciate it. Looks like it's back to square one. I'll give Jigsaw a call tomorrow morning. It's going to take some time. I know, but I don't think Harley is feeling very patient at the moment. Don't be sad, Harley. We'll find your mum and dad. It's not important. Come and have dinner at our place all the time. Can't he, Mum? I don't think that'd be the same, darling. We could be like a second family. My mum and dad don't live together anymore, so I've got two families. Well, three, really. There's the Windsors, too. Thanks, kid, but I reckon I'll manage OK. <laughs> it's not fair, is it? No. Where 
Red from Bob will find them for you. He can do anything. Claire. Can't you write from Bob? Well. See? Forget it, Squirt. All right. Here's what we'll do. You clean up this mess, and I'll make some inquiries for you. Now, I'll try as best I can, as long as you do. Deal? Deal. Told you. Come on, Claire. Bye, Harry. Bye. See ya. Thanks. Bye. Right. We better get to work, haven't we? See you later. In here, Martha. Hi. Hi. How'd you go? I think I've struck gold. Yeah? Oh, she's a canny old duck. I mean, she knew exactly what I wanted, but she made me listen to a couple of long-winded reminiscences about the old days before <laughs> she let me have it. And? Well, I was right. Bastille Day did the trick. She had a very clear recollection. Unlike most elderly people, she can't remember the things she did a few minutes ago. But the old days are very clear in her mind. And anything she can't remember, she's got written down in ancient diaries. Good. Well, there were several births on July the 14th, 1971. But she especially remembers the baby boy put up for adoption. His mother was transferred to Newbridge Hospital from a rural one. And they nearly lost her and the baby. So what was the mother's name? Oh. Um... Anne Glover. Ever heard of a Bob? Well, I'm sorry to bother you. Bye. Eric? Hello. Is there an Edna or Anne Glover there, please? No, I'm not selling anything. Never heard of them? Okay. Sorry to bother you. Thanks. Bye. Who's that? What? Edna and what's her face? Uh, no one important. It's just a couple of old parishioners I'm trying to locate. You seen the kitchen? Yeah, it looks great. Didn't think I'd ever see the day. I raided the money jar as well. Reckon I would have shriveled up and died if I had to eat any more of your health food. <laughs> Don't know how you do it, Rev. All that jogging and push-ups. Hello? Mrs. Glover? Mrs. Edna Glover? Could I speak to Annie, please? Mrs. Glover, please. What do you want? Um, how long have you been living here? A while. My mother died and left us the place. I'm surprised you're still around. I thought you'd be in jail or dead by now. Well, Jim McKay put a lot of work into me. So it would seem. What do you want? I need to see Annie. She's not here. I know she is, Mrs. Glover. I spoke to you on the phone a while ago. Oh, that was you. I thought it was some crackpot. Can I come in, please? There's nothing here for you. Mrs. Glover, please, it's important. Very well. Come in. How'd it go? Did you find the old duck, did you? What? Edna. Your old parishioner. Yeah, I found her. You're a bad liar, Reverend. You found something out, haven't you? Listen, mate, do you think you should find your parents? I mean, have you really thought this through enough? I have to find them. I used to dream about them, you know. Once I dreamt that they came back and got me and I was still together. Now, rich, of course. That didn't matter. Because I knew I belonged to them. You understand that, Rev? But that's just a dream, mate. I know. Don't you think I thought about what it would be like if they were crims or something, you know? They didn't want to know about me. If I walked up onto them on the street and said, Hey, I'm your son. And they said, Take a hike. 
but not knowing that's killing me. So if you know something, you've got to let me know. You want me to beg? Okay, I'm begging. Okay, Harley. Okay. Okay, so we're here. You gonna tell me what this is about? Uh, the Glovers, the people I've been trying to locate, this is their place. Annie Glovers, your mother. She's in there now. Now look, this is a big step, mate. Are you sure you want to go through with it? I've been ready for 18 years. Yeah, but, um, look, you might have built up expectations, maybe too many, um... Why don't we talk about it? Well, she's my mother, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Well, I don't want to talk. I want to go and see her. Harley, hang on. Edna, this is Harley. And his son. Hi. Unburden yourself, lighten the load. I found Daddy Glover and Arthur. That's great. She's sick. She had an accident. She just stares into space as though nothing else exists. How did Harley take it? The way anyone would. I just didn't know what to say to him. Probably there was nothing you could say to him that would help. He's got a story about for himself. Yeah. Something else bothering you isn't there, Bob. I knew Annie a long time ago. She was beautiful, vivacious. I was deeply in love with her. A long time ago. I'm Harley's father. 